if you've been here before welcome back if you're new welcome to my name is Tierra, and you're always welcome to come read with me so good morning today I have three things that I want to show you um, okay so today I will be showing you three things the first set of things that I will be showing you will be what I bought with what I won from the big booktube challenge if you don't know I was one of the I want to say three winners of the Tau book tower challenge and I got a $50 gift card I don't know what is on my lip okay I got a $50 gift card to an online bookish site called out of print and they sell a bunch of bookish things as, as I said bookish site bookish things so the first thing I have to show you is this shirt that I got and it's called Body in the Library by Agatha Christie. So let me just move this. Hopefully you can see it. And I think their tags for it are like super cute and adorable. It's nice and sturdy. I decided to use it as a bookmark so that's what I'm going to do. I wanted to wait to tear this off so that I wouldn't lose it but um, yeah and their mission statement says help us share the gift of reading. Each purchase helps to fund literacy programs and book donations to communities in need. So that's awesome. So okay. The next thing I got was this scarf and it says author title due date and I thought that was really nice I love the colors um, it's really well made it's really soft like it's, it's nice I can't wait to wear this and then lastly I got these guys these two pins and I've worn them already I got the package over the weekend last week so these are the pins I might take a picture and put them in there just so you can see them better because I'm sure the light isn't doing the pins any justice right now. So that's what I got with my winnings from Booktubeathon. Yay. Alright, so next is three books that I bought this month in August that I will be reading for September or in September. Uh, the first book, this one I got from Walmart. It's called The Black Klansman by Ron Stallworth. A memoir by Ron Stallworth and it is a movie it's a movie so it says when ron stallworth the flat the flast the first black detective in the history of colorado springs police department comes across the classified ad in the local paper recruiting for the ku klux klan he responds with interest using his real name while posing as a white man that decision launches what is surely one of the most audacious and incredible Incredible undercover investigations in history. Detective Stallworth sabotage, sabotages cross burnings, exposes white supremacists in the military, and even fools David Duke himself. Black Klansman is an amazing real life account that records like that reads like a crim a crime thriller, one that offers a searing portrait of a divided America and the heroic citizens who dare to fight back. I'm here for it. Why have I not heard of this man all my life? Like, he should have been taught about in school. And I didn't. I graduated in 2009. I have never heard of this man until now. Uh, I plan to see the movie. And I'm going to read the book first, of course. So, the next book is one of the two that I bought on Amazon. This one is called Don't Call Us Dead by Denise Smith. This is... I want to say, I'm hoping that I'm right, that Denise Smith is a part of the LGBT community. And, and, um, this is a book of poems by him. I just blanked my mind just totally for a second. But this is a book of poetry of his collection. So I can't wait to get into that. This should be a really quick read, I'm sure. It's not super long. And I don't want to get too close on the cover because there's a penis right here. So let's do this. But... I think the cover is beautiful and I can't wait to read it he's won a few prizes uh, so he has the he's won the Kate Tufts Discovery Award and the Lombada Literacy Award he received fellowships from McKnight Foundation 
the National Empower no, the National Endowment for the Arts and the Poetry Foundation and published poems in Grotta Poetry and the Best American Poetry. He lives in Minneapolis, so can't wait to get into that one. And then the book, I don't have it yet. It has not been released yet, but I'll cover here. This is The Black Dot Eye Reader by Adam Pendleton. And this book, I want to say, is set to release on the 29th of August. Between, it, it was either the 26th or the 29th, and I'm sure it's the 29th because Amazon has not um, alerted me to let me know that my pre-order is on its way. So I'm gonna say it's the 29th of August. So it should get here the second week of, of September, which is okay. But Adam Pendleton is a renowned artist. And yeah, I got to go to one of his um, question panels. I don't even know what to call it. I can't remember. It wasn't a reading of the book, but I got to go to one of the events that he spoke on uh, while talking about what inspired him to come up with the Black Dada and it's, it's, it's pretty much an anthology. All it is is just works that over time he's gone on and found and collected and um, you know that inspired his work and he's just compiled it all into a book so what it is is it's an anthology in, its own, in itself. So yeah I'm excited to get that one I was gonna I wanted the the original the pre-released book it was a hard back but it was signed by him it was fifty dollars and I was gonna drop that fifty dollars but they were all sold out so I couldn't but I was gonna probably not one of my my you know most um, financially smart decisions but I was gonna do it if he wasn't sold out I was going to it's okay though I'm still getting it less money paperback which I do prefer just not signed by the artist himself it's cool though it's cool so yeah that is oh almost forgot and then as for what I'm reading right now this is Honey Hush an anthology of African American women's humor by Daryl Cumberdance <laughs> yeah Daryl Cumberdance forward by Nikki Giovanni so this is a book with the the description of it is in the title. It is um, just African American women's humor. So there are um, short stories, there are poems, there are, you know, uh, accounts, first-hand accounts from of stories or jokes told by African American women. And this book has had me in stitches. <laughs> Uh, quite a few times this book has had me in stitches and as you can see um, so far all of this is, is tabbed and there are notes in here there's sticky notes there are dog-eared pages because I ended up losing my tabs so uh, yeah on more than one occasion I found myself not only laughing out loud but then having to call like my aunt or my mom and like listen to this and you know then I have them in stitches too so I recommend this book but I will say this um, it covers a lot in the humor department so you there are parts you may not find funny there are stories that I found like a little confusing I think it was missing more of the context than it needed to be from the book so it probably just shouldn't have been added but that's one of the things I love about anthologies I get to kind of get a glimpse into multiple different books at once and that that's something I really came to rely on you know with not having a bunch of reader friends with not having any a bunch with not having any reader friends and or family so I got a lot of my I get a lot of my recommendations from anthologies because they have you know excerpts from different books and novels in them so yeah I'm a little tired guys but I'd recommend it I say you really really enjoy the book if you're a fan of the queens of comedy you will somewhat enjoy the book if you're a person who is a little more um conservative i, I think you'd still enjoy it i just think if you you don't really like to hear or read a cussing then it might take you out of the that 
that enjoyment realm it might take you back a little bit and break your concentration while reading because you have to get over that and some of them can be quite vulgar so yeah if, if you if you can't deal with that you're not going to like this but if that's something that you can deal with then you are going to enjoy it you will find yourself in stitches you will find a lot of stuff that you can probably relate to um I know throughout the book I found it was a lot. I was just like, ah, like my goodness, the diaspora tell you about us. We are something. So yeah, I'm really enjoying it. I had, there are 12 chapters in the book. I made it to chapter 10. I plan to finish these last three chapters between tonight and tomorrow. It's a really rainy day today. So uh, yeah, I have the house to myself. My kid is gone. My little cousin is gone. Everybody's gone. So yeah, I'm probably gonna lay around read a little bit so hope you enjoyed thank you for watching and i'll see you next time no you will see me next time because i don't see any of you most of the time so